but we've been growing peaches for about 130 years uh, here in Mizala. My great-grandfather planted the first ones in 1890. As one of the great philosophers from the end of the 1900s once put it, millions of peaches, peaches for me. How many millions? 520. I came from the mud, desert on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. I'm David Zelsky and this is the Fork in the Road podcast presented by Georgia Grown and the fine folks at Georgia Public Broadcasting. Each episode, we feature stories from Georgia's farmers, fishermen, merchants, artisans, chefs, and others who help provide Georgia-grown products to folks in the Peach State and beyond. On this episode, we're focusing on the product that gives us our namesake, peaches. Yes, it is true, Georgia is not the country's leading producer of peaches. That distinction goes to California. But we do produce a bunch of the delicious fruit here. Each year, about 520 million peaches are grown in the Peach State. Georgia is the peach state. You may have heard that. They, they grow in other states, but yeah. what is it about a Georgia peach that's so special? Well, Georgia was always the first to hit the market, and uh, with the developed the Alberta variety here that just made peaches famous uh, throughout our country, and, and we just still got a great um, industry here. Uh, it's probably not as big as it used to be, and as you say, a lot of other states grow peaches, but I think the climate and the soil right here in middle of Georgia is the best of anywhere in the country, and and uh, we're still just doing a great job uh, marketing and selling sweet Georgia peaches. Today, we are visiting unincorporated Muzella, Georgia. Where? Well, as the crow flies, we're about 26 miles west of downtown Macon. Muzella is the home to Dickey Farms. Well, we've been here a long time, right here in middle of Georgia in Muzella, a little small community, but we've been growing peaches for about 130 years uh, here in Muzala. My great-grandfather planted the first ones in 1890, and, and so uh, we've been uh, doing it every year. It's a great, uh, great life, and uh, we have a wonderful farm family, and uh, just love it here. That's Robert Dickey. He is the president of Dickey Farms. And this is a, as you said, this is a generational thing. There's a lot of those generations right now uh, continuing to do this. It is, and Peaches has is, is always been one of those. It takes a lot of capital, a lot of uh, knowledge and, and experience, I guess, to grow peaches with the, with the weather issues and market issues and labor and all those type things we deal with every year. So um, I'm just proud my father's still here at 93 and my son at, uh, back here with his family and, and, and my wife, and so it's a family, family-run farm. Here in Georgia, peaches are a tradition. Like Robert said, his family started growing peaches in Georgia 130 years ago. And while it is true that the peach state is not the main producer of peaches in the U.S., Georgia peaches sure are special. And it is kind of neat how a lot of the peach growers have, have come together in recent years. Tell me about the collaboration. We do. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, four or five families, the Lanes, the Pearsons, the Dickies, and others that uh, go together and, and market the fruit. We, we are great friends and collaborate on a lot of uh, growing issues and uh, help each other out. And the, the Georgia Grown program has just been so good uh, at marketing our peaches throughout the country and it's known for that. And, and our genuine Georgia sales group, uh, just new innovative ways to get Georgia peaches to uh, consumers. I wanna go back to something Robert mentioned earlier, the difficulties in growing peaches. It takes a lot of capital, a lot of uh, knowledge and, and experience, I guess, to grow peaches with the, with the weather issues and market issues and labor and all those type things we deal with every year. First, weather issues. What is the problem with growing peaches in the Georgia weather? Well, according to the scientists at UGA, the reason why peaches are so difficult to grow in Georgia is because we live in an area that has high humidity and long, hot summers that act like an incubator for practically every insect and disease that affects peaches. California can grow peaches with far less disease problems because their climate is the exact opposite of Georgia. Most organically grown peaches are sold from California because of this reason. Another challenge for peach farmers is harvesting. Robert Dickey and Dickey Farms have overcome that challenge by utilizing a government program designed to help farmers. The H-2A Temporary Agricultural Workers Program, or H-2A Visa Program, helps American farmers fill employment gaps by legally hiring temporary workers from other countries. Tell me about the, the Chico. 
Tico yeah. and the team out there today? Uh, we got a great group of uh, employees here that uh, just come back each and every year through our H2A program. And the Elazar uh, Carrasco brothers, they, they're just great. And um, our guys, you know, they pick in the rain, they pick early in the morning at, and late in the afternoon. It's a hard job uh, knowing which peaches to pick and which ones to leave for next time. And, and uh, so I just got a great group of dedicated employees. It's so hard being seasonal business to, to get enough help to pick them and pack them and get them to the, to the packing house on time. And so uh, uh, it's been a challenge, especially through this COVID uh, period. And uh, so I'm glad we're, we're out and having a great season this year. What they're looking for when they're they're going through i see some peaches and i look like i want, I want to eat that yeah. and then that one doesn't make the bucket it is peaches are very uh very fickle and write that down peaches are fickle and it takes a well-trained eye to know which peaches to pick and which ones to leave on the tree for another couple of days also there are a lot of varieties of peaches so the Dickey Farms employees have to know the minute details to look for. Uh, we have many different varieties that, that have different characteristics, uh, color, shi size, and shape. So they sort of know which, uh, which ones to leave. And we have to pick every other day of these orchards. And so, um, yeah, it's yeah, so a good great time. Bite if we just try it again. If it was constant diesels, you know. That's yeah, we just got a lot yeah. going on today. <laughs> yeah, understood. Okay. If you don't mind telling me again what, what they're looking for when they... Yeah. When they well, our pickers are looking for a peach that, that's uh, firm, that, that'll ship uh, and get through a packing process in a box. But we want the optimum color and ripeness. And uh, so it's a very fine line between being still uh, immature and, and so-called green and, and overripe. So uh, peaches... Uh, and, and these guys are great in knowing which ones to leave and get a little bit bigger the next time and sweeter. and. So, uh, but we go through every other day, uh, picking the ones we want to pick in the orchard will take a, probably two weeks to harvest. There's Red Haven, Red Globe, Majestic, and Dixieland, Belle of Georgia, Jersey Queen, and China Pearl. And that's not all of them, not even close. Let's look at the princes. Sure Prince, June Prince, Gold Prince, Spring Prince, August Prince, Flame Prince, Autumn Prince. Hey, Tell me again, what, kind, of what kind is this? This is a uh, July Prince, and uh, so it's not quite July, but <laughs> but they're starting to get ripe, and and uh, it's just uh, it's just a beautiful variety. It's it's uh, great tasting. It's a free stone, and and uh, just gets ripe right during the peak of our season. It ships well, and mm -hmm. it's pretty color when it when it's fully ripe. And, uh, and where'd Prince come from again? Uh, Mr. Vic Prince was a breeder, USDA breeder, that bred uh, a lot of varieties that we grow here in Middle Georgia in the southeast. And this is one of his selections that that he uh, that he picked and re released for growers to grow. And and uh, we probably grow 20 of his selections and uh, for all the way from early May to, to, to August and and so um, there's so many on this one tree it is I think uh, that, that tree's probably got seven eight hundred peaches on it that, that'll get hopefully two and three quarter inches and be and uh, we've had good rain and so I think mm -hmm. it's and think it's gonna really uh, be a good crop on these and who is Vic Prince time for a short history lesson Back in the 1930s, the farmers in middle Georgia were experiencing problems with their peach crops. They needed new varieties that would flourish in our soil and climate, and trees that would be resistant to the diseases that were wreaking havoc on their crops. Peach growers wanted firm fruit that could be shipped outside of Georgia and trees hardy enough to extend the season. They hoped these issues could be addressed by the new USDA breeding program that was just getting started. John Weinberger was hired in 1937 as the first breeder at the Peach County office. Mr. Weinberger dedicated almost 20 years to the peach breeding program. Victor Prince came on board as his successor in 1955. Mr. Prince worked tirelessly for 25 years, adding his knowledge and experience to work previously started, and refused to retire until his replacement, Dr. Dick Oakey, was hired in 1980. With the combined efforts of his work and the work of his two predecessors, Dr. Oakey was able to release the first Prince variety in 1981. 50 years after the breeding program started.
science, dedication, work ethic. That's how we have the peaches we know and love today. And those are also the reasons that Dickey Farms has been around for so long. You have uh, uh, where your office is in the market there. Tell me about uh, the store you have. Well, my great-grandfather built a, a new packing house in 1936 on the railroad to ship his peaches, and we're still using it. And it's uh, the railroad's gone, but uh, and we've got new uh, modern equipment and automated sizer and, and those type things in there. But uh, we've turned the top part into a farm market and, and it's just great. People from all over the state and coming back to the farm, a little small musella and the store and the, uh, just experience a little bit of agritourism and, and, and what's going on in rural Georgia. Lastly, where in the country can they find some Dickey Farms peach? Well, you can find it just about anywhere. We, we are in major chain stores. We're on uh, direct marketing through uh, peach truck and other uh, avenues that take peaches straight to the consumer, mail order, or well, they can come right here to Musella and just get the sweetest, best peaches in the whole world right here. The next time you're in the grocery store, remember that peaches are not just the namesake of the state, they are a symbol of resilience, hard work, and a whole lot of knowledge. For more stories like this one, you can watch A Fork in the Road on GPB TV or anytime on the gpb.org website. That's where you'll be able to listen to and subscribe to this podcast or download it on your favorite podcast platform. I'm David Zelski. Thanks for listening to A Fork in the Road.